Hello friends, in this lecture I am going to explain you about the Spearman's ranking difference method. It is the second method to calculate coefficient of correlation between the data. In this <coughs> method only individual series are given. Suppose you have given x and y. These are two individual series. These are two data whether it is marks in statistics, marks in economics, whether it is the age of husband, age of wives. <coughs> You just first of all give rank X and rank Y to these data. How rank is given? The highest number is given 1 and then in descending order, ascending order sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just like we give ranks in the class. <coughs> After giving the ranks, rank X and rank Y, we calculate D. D means the difference between rank x and rank y d is the difference between rank x and y so rank x minus rank y rank x is minus from rank y and here we got d remember always the sum of d should be zero it indicates that the rank is given as right and correctly you have given the rank to the x and y data after this, you have to square d and sum up sigma d square. When you square d, it becomes d square and sum sigma d square. Now, for the calculation of coefficient, you have to use formula rho. Spearsman ranking difference method is denoted by rho. R h o rho. Rho equals to 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n, n square minus 1 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n n square minus 1 d square is taken from here and n n means number of items number of observations the number of observations in individual series n means number of observation so this formula is used for the calculation of Spearsman ranking difference method 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n n square minus 1. Now let us see this with an example. There is one example. X 75 88, 95, 70, 60, 80, 81, 50. Y equals to 120, example x and y these values are given 75 88 95 70 60 80 81 and 50 and just like y 120 134 150 115 110 140 142 and 100 we have to find spearman's correlation coefficient what we have to find? Spearman's correlation coefficient. Rho. So first of all, we give rank to these values. That is rank x and here we give rank y. Now, we select the highest value from this. That is 95. So we give first rank to 95. Then 95, 81. Sorry, 88 is the second highest. We give it 2. Then 88 to 81, it is 3. 81, 84. Then 75, it is 5. Then 76. Then 67 and 58. So in this way, the rank is given. The highest number is given 1. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7 and 8. Same we give rank to y. The highest number is 150. So we give 1. 150, 142, 2. 143, 134, 4. 100, 15, oh sorry, 125, 115, 6, 7 and 8. Now, it is D. Rank X minus rank Y. Rank X minus Y, 5 minus 5, 0, 2 minus 4, minus 2, 1 minus 1, 0, 6 minus 6, 0, 7 minus 7, 0, 4 minus 3, 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 8 minus 8, 0. Sum of this should be equals to 0. Minus 2 and plus 2, it is 0. Now make its square. 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 0. Now it comes sigma d square. 4 and 2, 6. The total of d square is 6. Now we use formula 6. Sigma d square upon n, n square minus 1. As we know n means the total number of items. So here we find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. There are 8 items. n equals to 8. Rho equals to 1 minus 6 sigma d square. Sigma d square is 6 upon 8, 8 square minus 1. 1 minus 36 upon 8 square, 8 square is 64, 64 minus 1, 63 and 8 into 63. 1 minus 36 upon 8 into 63. 504 1 minus 36 upon 504.0714 rho equals to it is plus 0.928 so the coefficient of Spearsman ranking difference is 0.928 it is the solution of Spears, Spearman's correlation Coefficient. First of all, we give rank to both data. Then we calculate D, rank X minus rank Y. The total of D should be 0. Then D square and use formula 1 minus 6 sigma D square upon N square minus 1. Now, in this method, there is another topic which is known as tied rank. When there is a tie between the values, when same values comes together, then how we give rank and what formula is used should be explained in the next chapter. Thank you so much. Hope you understand this method. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.